week 8, Wednesday, and I haven't done any work whatsoever on the boat yet, um, so I better start. I'm going to do a small template so that I can put it over the bulkhead and mark the shine lock cutouts so I don't have to do it one by one. Take on bulkhead 4, about to disappear for good, as expected. I'm gonna make the stem, but the only wood I've got that is actually big enough for it, it's this 47 by 47. So I have a lot to take out on that. I don't know if I had the camera on um, through most of it, but well, too late now. It took me about an hour and a half to make it, but I still reduced that 47 by 47 to a proper size 45 by 36 for that. Um, could have been a lot faster. Take your time and find a proper way of securing this to the workbench. I didn't, and I spent more time fighting it than shaping it. So. Um, all in all, I had good fun, so cursed a few times when it just jumped off the workbench, but I think it's part of the learning process. Anyway, it's done now, so that's where it's gonna go. I was chatting with Dave on the Facebook group, Kota Ski Facebook group the other day, about de-waxing and how some epoxies don't have that problem anymore but mine does and a lot uh, i'm going to show you look at that so i'm going to grab a bucket of clean water and i'm going to scrub that and then you're going to see in the end just one side of the panel. I thought I would mention that the bulkheads and the transom were all done with the same epoxy and I had no problem with waxing whatsoever it might be coincidence or not but it was really nice sunny days when I done them and when I got to the big panels um, 
storm Elsa heaters and like the day after these panels turn orange. Uh, coincidence? I don't know but um, it definitely, I definitely noticed the difference. Uh, does it have to do with humidity, um, pressure, uh, atmospheric pressure? I don't know but temperature. What I know is I had no waxing of those panels and these ones as you saw were absolutely full of it. In retrospective, uh, David, and I won't even pretend I can say your last name, uh, <laughs> from, um, David from the Goat Island Ski Forum. To be honest, if I had to do it all over again, I would not even bother masking the, masking these school areas because they all get, they get all wet, they get yellow now because they contaminate the paint, whatever wax, whatever that is. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry, sand it, and hopefully it will become white again. Unless you guys have any data showing me that that joint that is now contaminated with wax, it's, it's still gonna be stronger than a sanded epoxy joint. Uh, I wouldn't bother with it again. I'm just a beginner, I'm a newbie on this, uh, especially with epoxy and glassing and all that. I've done some woodworking, but um, I don't know what you guys think. I wouldn't go for that again. Let's have a look at the panel before sanding. Right, all panels sanded and that took me almost five hours. All four side panels, both bottom panels. I've had enough dust for today. I'm gonna to have some lunch now. It's half three in the afternoon. I think it's about time I eat something. At the end of week eight, I've done 16 hours. So that's two full working days. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.